Hey everyone, this is Scarlet. Uh, Final Fantasy IX Excalibur 2 Perfect Game Run. I have my reasons for being gone for so long, I won't talk about them here. Right now, we are talking to two of the Pluto Knights as Steiner. This is a little bit of a side quest that you do need to do in order for the 100%. The elixir is a missable item, and it's just part of the completionist part of the challenge to, to get it. What you need to do is uh, contact all the Pluto Knights, like this guy right here, and there are seven? Nine? I can't remember how many Pluto Knights there are, I just know where they are. So you got, okay, I'm not about that guy on the balcony. If you move one way, he'll automatically go the other way. So you kind of have to trap him, it's a little weird, I suggest kind of practicing it at first, but he's really the only one that can be sometimes difficult to catch. Now we get to watch Steiner's rather large self running around. Uh, there is the second and last one, not including the guy who gives you the elixir. There's really not that much to say at this part, there's not much strategy I can give. There's really not. Let's see here. And then anybody who knows or has played the game knows this part. You go to the top of the tower, Steiner jumps off, it's a really funny scene. Blah 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 blah. And right here, this is the last of the Pluto Knights and he's the one who gives you the elixir. He'll go through which ones you've caught and if you're missing any, that way you know, you'll know if we're missing one or two. And then at the end, he gives you an elixir. And once you have that elixir, there is a glitch that I know of that you can get more than one elixir. It's really not worth it. Just keep going. And right here, I skipped the FMV because, well kind of got to do that to save time because there's about 52 minutes or so of FMVs in the game and that's wasting a lot of time a lot a lot of time however on the uh, computer it is a lot more difficult to skip FMVs there we go I had a bit of a difficulty there in my recording uh, I'll cut all of that out Sometimes, more so when you're doing it on the emulator versus the PSX version of the game, you're gonna crash every now and then when you're trying to skip the FMVs because of the weird way that you have to do it. And the computer just doesn't like that very much. There's not much strategy here, there's a lot of dialogue in this part of the game. You just need to remember to keep tapping your X and O button, XO, 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 whatever they're mapped to on your gamepad or keyboard, in order to get through this section of the game faster. And here is the infamous scene that everybody who knows this game just loves. And I'm skipping through it so you can't read any of it, so deal with it. There's really not that much to talk about during this section of the game because there's absolutely nothing to do during the dialogue except skip the dialogue. <sighs> Let's see. Steiner's crying for Garnet. And there's the uh, totally a Pluto Knight. <laughs>
I know this game so well that I have the dialogue just about memorized. <laughs> it's kind of disgusting how well I know this game. Alright. So right here. You want to make sure you have a s the Mage Masher equipped. It will make the next fights a lot easier. Other than that, just keep it with default. You'll be wasting your time if you give them anything else. Now, also, make sure to get these two chests here. It is important. If you want to get the s rank medal at the end of the game, you need to get as many hidden treasures as possible. It's also part of completing the entire game with 100% and getting the Excalibur 2. So, get these as quickly as possible, run through the dialogue with Cinna, and just be as fast as you possibly can with everything. That's that's kind of the best advice that you can get for an Excalibur 2 perfect game run. You need to be fast. And that's kind of hard to do on the computer, especially if you're using a keyboard, in my experience. But if you try enough times, you'll eventually get it. Ah, now here's the fun part. <laughs> Let's find out that's actually blank and not a Pluto Knight. And then we go into this pseudo boss fight. It I wouldn't really call it a boss fight because it's so short. Uh, and it you kinda have to try to lose it. <laughs> but what you wanna do is uh, attack attack with the Dawn because he does the most damage. And steal as much as you can. It's always a good idea to steal as much as you can, even in this challenge, because there are certain bosses and certain items that are paramount to being able to do the challenge properly. And since Cinna does next to no damage anyway, just keep stealing with him to get as much as you can, and attack with Zidane, because with the Mage Masher, as you just saw, he can end the fight in two rounds. Thank you. 